Well, we finally got a dumpster so we can start cleaning some stuff up around here. Yesterday was miserable. It started raining before we got up at 5 a.m., rained till 7 p.m. We had 60 mile an hour winds and got a total of three inches of rain. So today is a soggy mess. So I had to wait a few weeks for this dumpster to show up. And now that it has, we had so much rain, it's gonna be too muddy to really use the tractor to clean some stuff up. So today what I'm thinking is we're actually gonna get in the pig pen today and remember how there was this full of junk in there and the pigs dug it all up? We're gonna get in the pig pen. We're gonna to try to clean up everything that all the pigs found in there and get that thrown in the dumpster. But first we wanna check out and see how bad the barn is after all that rain. It's much better in here than it was Last night, when I came to put the animals up, it was a river flowing through here. Uh, the animals were all trying to stay dry and on the sides of the barn, so I broomed it all out, and this actually looks a lot better than it did. So the center walkway in here actually slopes downward, and apparently this is the low spot. It's supposed to actually be low in the middle, and it's supposed to allow all the water to come in here and go down a drain that's actually over there. but that drain is clogged, so all the water just collects in this walkway, and uh, that's why Rebecca ended up having to sweep this all out. And we're gonna sweep it out again real quick, see if we can get rid of the rest of this. So right here is supposed to be a floor drain and it is completely, it was uh, uncovered, so it's been completely full of stuff. And then there's a, a drain over there. Now it's covered up to keep stuff from going in it. And then there's supposed to be a drain right here as well. I think this actually has a cover on it, but none of this drain system works. And it's supposed, I don't even know where it goes. It's supposed to go, I don't know if it just goes into the ground or if it's supposed to go somewhere outside the barn. So here in the back side of the barn, this side is dry. Of course, this side is the side that gets wet and it is pooled up in here full of water and it smells horrible. Um, but that drain, uh, that drain should come out somewhere like right in between these two windows. And I have no idea where that drain actually goes, but uh, we definitely need to do something with the floor drain to see if we could somehow get it to work. And then we need to do something with the drainage just around the barn so water doesn't collect in here because water actually comes out from underneath the barn floor. It's so saturated under the barn, it actually comes out and in here and gets us wet. Stop, Penny, stop, stop. Come on, we're buddies. Come here. Yeah. Are you afraid the others will make fun of you? Huh? Yeah. All right, we're gonna head over to the pig pen now. We're gonna show you all the trash that those pigs dug up. So Rebecca grabbed the lawnmower and we hooked this cart up to the back of it. We're gonna use that to haul out all the trash. That way we're not rutting everything up with the tractor. So right here is probably the biggest amount of trash. We're gonna try to get this all picked up. It is just a mixture of everything in here. There's a bear. That's a lid to a toilet. That's a burner for a stove. What do you think that is? Some kind of metal pan? It says something on the side. Sugar? Huh. It does. It says sugar. That's crazy. I would not put sugar in that. It'd be pretty rusty sugar. Little professor. I think it's like a little calculator. I think I remember kid. those when I was a kid. A rug and a rug of grass and weeds. So, oh, there's one license plate. I don't even think it has a state. It does. Here's another license plate. And this one is. This is Illinois. 2000. Hmm. Is that one? See? Still throwing trash in here in the year 2000. So 
So tell me, doesn't that look like something off of like a scary movie? So this right here I had several comments last time. This is, they said this was like a stock chopper. It goes on the back of a combine and it chops up all of like the corn stalks and stuff after it, you know, processes them. So they said that's probably off of an old John Deere combine. That's probably gonna be a little too heavy for us to lift. We'll have to wait and see. Well, I think that's gonna be our first load. We're gonna see if Rebecca can find a way out of here so we can dump that in the, the dumpster. Now, so far this first area looks a lot better. We've got at least everything off the surface. We're afraid there's still stuff down in the ground. So we've got stuff over here to clean up and then there's a whole mess of stuff over on this side that needs cleaned up as well. And then I think there's a whole bunch of stuff mixed in over here. There's still, we still got quite a few loads to go. Good thing we don't have the sides on now. Yeah, but that's probably as full as we can get it. Yeah. About to say that's load number two. So we're piling up some of the bigger stuff because we'll have to get something bigger than the trailer we have on there. So we've got a pile of metal over here. Of course, with that uh, piece off that combine, there's a bunch of long pipe and a bunch of metal right here as well. And then outside of the pig pen, we've got a bunch of junk over there and a bunch of junk over there that we need to pick up. Now this appears to be part of a car. Got some seats here, an old tire, another tire, like we don't have enough. Oh, of course they're soaking wet. Yeah. Oh. All right. That is an old dishwasher. There's one of the baskets. It's crazy. I mean, this this property, well, we've been cleaning this up since 20, the end of 2015. It's been like eight years. Still cleaning it up. Pretty sure all this trash is why we gotta good deal on this property. Yeah, yeah, I think that helps make your price per acre go down. The like the more tons of trash you have to haul, haul off definitely improves the price. Well, I can't throw tires in the dumpster, so we actually have a pile of tires that's been here since we bought the property. We're gonna throw it over there. We've actually got rid of about half of those. So that's about half of what we started with. So all, most of those gotta have the rims taken off for me to dispose of the, the wheels or of the tires. Watch your hands. We got everything out of the pig pen. The dumpster's about a third of the way full already. And we found a few other things that was nearby that we tossed in there as well. Yeah, we still have a ton of cleanup. I think we could probably fill four or five of these. Yeah, I think we could too. So we still got the trash pit over there that we got to clean up, but it's just so muddy. I don't know if we'll get to it tomorrow or not. It looks a ton better already. Um, mostly all you see are some concrete blocks and then we have these buried wires that we can't get out. Yeah, we but, need a tractor or something to dig them out. But it looks a ton better already. 
So the pigs made this so much easier because they got it all exposed and dug up. So it, it helped a ton being able to get in here and clean this up. Because before it was so overgrown, so much stuff was buried that we couldn't even see all of it. So the pigs are great for helping dig up junk. So it looks like we're gonna fill that dumpster up pretty quick because um, we still have the trash pit to clean out. So if there's any space left in it when we're done, there's still some junk back in this on this side that we can clean up. So there's this is like an old building that has fallen down and the pig, the pig pen, here's the fence, the fence went right next to it. So we kept the pigs out of here. But if we can have some room left in the dumpster, we may try to get in here and grab this with the grapple and try to tear some of this building out. And then over here, there's some junk. There's an old pig feeder. I think this is an old pig feeder. So you can see there's metal here on the ground here, but this is some, I think it's an old pig feeder sitting out here in the woods. And I mean, there's stuff like this all over the property. If we went to the other side back there, we could find lots more of stuff like this. That's just big spools of wire wound up. We've got stuff like that in probably three, four, five places on the property as well. So I think we're going to be getting pigs probably into April, May, sometime, somewhere in that time frame. And um, it's good to get this all cleaned up before we get the pigs again. So at least we got it, that done. We got the trash pit to still do, doing some spring cleaning. We actually may throw some stuff away in the house as well. Yep. I like cleaning. Yeah, Rebecca is a clean freak. Not a clean freak. Maybe I shouldn't say that. No, you are. You're clean. You, you've helped me. <laughs> because you're not so clean. Yeah. So I've had to kind of calm down, but I like things clean. She definitely does. So this mm -hmm. makes her happy. Anything we can clean up on the property and get uh, thrown away definitely yeah. is your thing, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Just uh, getting all the trash picked up. I think it's gonna be, we've been at it for eight years. We'll probably be at it for another eight years yeah. before this is over with. <laughs> but. I think that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Is that good? Yeah. We need to get those boards out of there. The more we do, the more I see we need to do. I know. It's it's never ending. I know. Like, you, you could do this for, like, all summer. Yeah. It, it's just, it's never ending. Yeah. Who knows what's all down in there, too. There may oh. be some equipment down in there. On the yeah, I know. I can see corrugated trees. metal back in there. I mean, there's, yeah. it never ends. It's just... Slowly but surely. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eating an elephant. Yeah. One piece at a time. <laughs>